Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see a good neural network based fault tolerance system for cascade multi level inverters. Thanks for watching our videos. If you are watching our videos first time, so kindly subscribe our channel and also click the bell icon and turn on notification for notification about upcoming videos. So we will start with implementation of neural network based fault tolerance system for cascade and multi level inverter in MATLAB. So first I am going to explain about the basic concept how we are going to implement the fault tolerance system in the cascade and multi level inverter. So here we are going to use 50 level multi, uh, cascade and multi level inverter. So for 15 level uh, cas uh, cascading output, right? So we need a 7 edge bridge 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So here, fault in the cascade and multi level motor will be considered as inverter failure, switch failure, and battery failure are known as uh, DC source failure. So this is will be considered as the inverter failure. So this need to be uh, detected by means of neural network after reduction of that fault in the cascade and multi level inverter so we need to generate the standard voltage based upon some corrective actions so for that here we are going to use axillary edge bridge inverter so this axillary edge bridge inverter going to be added in the cascade multi level inverter during fault condition so after fault condition okay so the new motor will be detect the fault so after fault detection we are going to include that mean this accelerating motor in the system in order to make continuous power supply to the load so what happened so here you can see that so this is a 15 level output during normal operation okay so when any fault occur in the system that mean multi level motor like inverter failure or switch failure or factory failure what happened so the level going to be reduced in the output voltage so this will be create the problem in the load side okay so we need to provide one per unit voltage to the load always okay so for that only we are going to use the fault tolerance system by using this axillary multi level motor so during normal operation here we are using two switch right so the sta1 equal to 1 and sa2 equal to 0 okay so this is uh, not connected with the system during normal operation when the fault occur right so the sa1 equal to 0 sa2 equal to 1 so what happened it can be included in the system and also we need to provide switching logic based upon where the fault is occur. So here there are several uh, seven uh, bridge inverter. So we need to find which edge bridge inverter having fault. Okay, based upon that logic, right? So we need to provide sequence uh, switching sequence for this inverter in order to get the 15 level output. So in the load set. So in order to detect the fault, okay. So here we need to measure uh, eight quantities. So one is uh, voltage across each edge bridge. So you have to measure voltage across each edge bridge and then voltage across the input. Okay, or else we can call this load. Okay. So this is going to be taken as the data. That means for normal condition, for fault condition in the each edge bridge, so you have to collect the data. This eight, eight data. So based upon this side data, we need to train the neural network so that neural network will be added as a fault based upon this data we are getting. Okay. So how we are going to do that one so in the MATLAB. So this is a model created for the system. So it consists of seven hedge bridge A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, A6, and A7. So each having 
hedge bridge okay just you click inside you will get see the hedge bridge okay so for fault creation here we are using ideal switch is connected with the constant right the constant equal to one means uh, the here it, it you know known as is operated in normal condition when it, and here is uh, at, that means this constant equal to zero means so there is the problem in the bridge okay for fault creation we created like that okay so that uh, the constant is uh, is connected with its stable switch okay so when on and off right so the fault will be created in the system okay and also here we have accelerator hedge bridge okay so this is going to be connected with system during the fault condition the remaining uh, time it will be not connected with the system okay so here we have to measure the voltage across uh, each hedge bridge okay and the voltage across that uh, low so this will be taken as the input so neural network input okay so this data can be collected for normal operation so fault in the each hedge bridge okay just you have to create a fault in the each hedge bridge and then you have to collect the data okay so already we collect the data so here you can see that so this is a single set of data collected from that system for different operation under normal condition uh, fault in the each hedge bridge okay so this is a data is collected from the system and this data we are having only 16 data so it's not enough for a training neural network so i am going to take the 10 times of this uh, data that means uh, 10 sets i am going to uh, take the same kind of checks for uh, 10 times okay so here you can see the data in that uh, okay so i take the same set of data for 10 times okay so why we are taking that so normally neural network need uh, more number of training data so then only it will be trained well okay so it is this input data okay data link is input data so here we have uh, i'm going to create the output data okay so here i'm going to take the number from 0 to 7 so 0 indicate it is a normal operation 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 indicate the uh, fault in the corresponding edge bridge okay for example we consider number 3 means the fault is occurring in the data edge bridge. If number six means the fault is occurring in the sixth edge bridge. Okay. So for that I create the data by my own. Okay. For understanding, for classification. Okay. So next I'm going to use NN star for training process. I'm going to just go to type NN star and click fitting app. So you will see this window. Next you got to click next you have to feed the input data data in and and then next you have to feed the output data and then you have to change to matrix source so we get to 160 data okay so click next click next click next now you have to train the neural network just you have to train the neural network and then you can see the value of r right r should be equal to 1 so what's the meaning so our collected data and the trend data both are having similar response okay so next click next next and then click similar diagram so here you have that trend in your network right this one so you can use this new network for detection of fault in the cascade of multi-level inverter so next so this that the model is used here already trying to model so it will see the same input right voltage of each edge bridge under overall voltage across the low so it will provide the result so in between 0 it will provide the 0 1 2 3 up to 7 okay and then based upon this value fault reduction right fault reduction value so i'm going to turn on this two switch that mean we are going that mean i'm going to add this inverter to the cascade of material inverter so based upon the condition getting from the network okay so it will be that when you the fault is detected means it will be generate uh, zero for here and one for here okay for this 
switch so automatically this inverter will be added in the system so for that we have created some simple logic here okay like logical operation and the inversion operation okay. and also based upon this detection logic right so we are going to select the switching sequence okay so because for example fault occur in the edge bridge one right so we need to operate this actually edge bridge with the switching sequence of edge bridge one okay so for that we we used multiport concept for selecting the switching sequence based upon the fault in the edge bridge okay so that will be done by means of this multiport concept so next i'm going to submit the model and then i'm going to explain the results okay so initially that uh, that mean each edge bridge will be linked with that mean the fault concept will be linked with the toggle switch right so toggle switch will be uh, is on means there is no problem in the edge bridge if it is off means the problem that mean failure occur in the system okay so now i'm going to simulate this one so now all toggle switch will be in on condition so system operate under normal okay so you will see that 15 level output right so that means the load is seeing the 15 level output so now i am going to create the fault in the edge bridge one and then we will see the results now we can see that the fault is occur in the edge bridge one so because of that what happened the reduction is occur in the system so this is automatically detected by means of neural network okay that mean here the result will be one what's the meaning the fault occur in the edge bridge one so because of that this axle is not is connected to the system so now we can see here right we are getting 15 level output only right we are getting 15 level output without changing the waveform structure so load continuously get the rated voltage okay so the fault is uh, the tolerance system work fine for the the fault in the edge bridge okay so same way i am going to create the fault in the bridge edge bridge 2 and we will see the results so here also you can see that so fault occur in the edge bridge 2 because of that reduction in the level so that going to be detected by means of neural network here okay here you can see that the value is 2 that mean the fault occur in the bridge 2 so here the, after that what happened the axillary inverter is connected to the system so because of that you are getting 15 level output from the inverter the load continuously getting the continuous power supply with the rated value so next time you want to create the fault in the edge bridge 3 and then we will check the results so now i am going to create the fault in the h plus 3 and then we are going to see the result so here you can see that so voltage that mean level reduction fault is detected by neural network so actually we got an added so because of that we are getting the 15 level output in the load side so load continuously having the rated voltage so next time we will create a fault in the that's bridge 4 and then we need to check the results yeah so because of that what happened the structure is changed in the system okay because of fault what's wrong the level structure changed so here the fault is detected so axillary input is connected to the system so we are getting the 15 level output rate voltage in the load side so next time i'm going to create the fault in the edge bridge 5 
So I'm going to create the fault in the HBH file. So here also you can see that. So there is alteration in the lower structure or the waveform structure. So fault is detected in the system. So because of fault detection, so axillary invert is added in the system. The level in the low cell is maintained at 15 level. So next time we have to create fault in the HBH6. Yeah, here you can see that the fault because of fault the level is reduced. So here the fault is detected in the neural network. So actually is invert is added in the system because of that the 15 level is maintained in this system. Okay. So next time I'm going to add fault in the HB7 and then you will check the reduction and the fault tolerant operation in the system. So here you can see that so because of fault right the level is reduced, the fault is detected in the system, axillary note is added in the system, the fault that means system having 15 level output in the load side after fault reduction and tolerant. That means the fault is automatically tolerant, tolerated by the one developing system. Okay. So this is the working of uh, neural network based fault tolerant system for cascader multi-level inverter. Thanks for watching our videos. So kindly subscribe our channel and also click the bell icon and turn on notification for notification about upcoming videos. Thank you, thank you so much. Bye bye.